Of all the places you guys have investigated, which one stands out the most? The Manger. Uh, the Manger. If any place, go to the Manger Hotel. My sister and I started along with my wife. Uh, we had been told by a friend of ours about a house that was supposedly haunted in Martindale, which is just outside of town. It had been on the market for years. Nobody wanted to buy it. Supposedly it was haunted. One night we went out there, maybe about three in the morning. It was, you know, went out there. At the time we only had our video our cell phones. So we we're just taking video out there. The next morning I went home, re reviewed everything, and we did catch a, a voice of a little girl saying, watch it, mister, because I was just happened to be looking in the window and she was probably looking back out at me. And after that, we um, pretty much just started the group. I wonder how many other haunted locations are here in San Marcos. So. It's been about seven years that we had our group. It's San Marcos Area Paranormal Society. And so basically we'll have clients call us to help, you know, go and investigate any paranormal activity that they might have in their home or business. Because of some of the experiences, and I had a lot of experience when I was young, it seemed like it kind of died down when I got older. But I mean, I saw not just me, but me and a group of my friends saw a full body apparition floating across the road when we were <laughs> driving on a country road where I live in, in South Texas. And just different things. It kind of got me really interested to learn more. And when I came to this group, I had told Frank about you know, it's what, some of the things that had happened to me. And I wanted to learn more. and. Joining a group like this would really help me understand that. We grew up in a haunted house. When we were younger, I was, I was probably maybe 10, 12 years old. Uh, one day it was me, my sister, and my mom. We were in the laundry room and we had a, a separate little closet. We just had food for storage. And we had a old cell, an old telephone. Yeah, it was an old tiny phone, just old phone, not hooked up, nothing. And the phone rang. It rang maybe three or four times, and we all just kind of looked at each other like the phone, the phone is ringing. And my mom had gone to go pick it up because I wasn't about to touch it. Uh, so she went to pick it up, and she, you know, kind of said hello. And she said there was a, a female voice on the other end saying, like, where's your mom? And at that time, my grandmother had been passed maybe about a year before that. So for some reason, somebody was calling on that unplugged telephone saying, where's your mom? the places you guys have investigated, which one stands out the most? The Manger. The Manger. If any place, go to the Manger. The Manger Hotel. The Manger opened as a two-story, 50-room hotel in February of 1859. The Manger Hotel is the oldest continuously operating hotel west of the Mississippi River. Now, the massive hotel consists of 316 elegant guest rooms and suites, a new ballroom, several meeting areas, a bar, and more. Due to its proximity to the Alamo, much of the land underneath the new addition was once part of the bloody grounds of the Battle of the Alamo in 1836. As a result, the Minger is located in an area of downtown San Antonio known as Alamo Plaza, which is also a hotbed of paranormal activity. 
Of all the hauntings reported at the Minger over the years, most, the most consistent and beloved is that of a young maid named Sally White. Sally worked for the hotel in the late 1870s and lived nearby with her common-law husband, Henry Wheeler. He was known for his violent temper, binge drinking, and ravenous jealousy. Wheeler often accused Sally of being a sex worker at the Minger due to the proximity to men travelers and a reputation for being an attractive young woman. On Monday, March 27, 1876, Wheeler threatened to shoot Sally through the stomach. The two argued, and Sally fled her home in fear of her husband. Henry Wheeler shot Sally White through her stomach as she ran through the streets towards the hotel, fired two more bullets through her back before she made it inside. Sally White is often seen in her maid's uniform and bandana, carrying linens all over the hotel, never speaking to anyone. And one of the guides there was telling us that guests would come out of their rooms saying, well, I can't go back in. Like they'll go out in the middle of the night maybe and go down to have a bar area. And when they come back, they see a lady pushing a cart out of their room. And they'll call the front desk and say, hey, why is someone cleaning my room so late? And I thought, no worries should be in there cleaning your room, but she'll just push her cart down the hall, still thinking she works there. But we did have some quite quite a bit of activities. I usually don't get very much. I rely on my other members. I'm more on the, the technical side. So it's very rare that I feel anything. But when I was there, after several hours, I had an intense pain in my stomach. It was more like I'd been stabbed and it lasted a good Two hours, I could not walk, I could not move. It was just really bad to us. They go, okay, well, I probably should go get checked at the hospital. It was, it was that bad. Uh, excuse me? Yeah. Do you mind answering a few questions for us? Alright, well thank you so yes. much. They're like, hey, like asking us for help. So when I walk outside, there's nobody there. Cubs get fallen off my cart. So, oh. yeah. And I feel like people t tapping me on the back. Like when I'm fixing the bed, they tap me on the back. And it's nobody. 